and Roderick Daniels Jr. back for SMU. And we are underway in Albuquerque. Through the back of the end zone and a touchback, and we get to see this high, like, wide open offense go under Rhett Lashley, led by Tanner Mordecai. Came from the Gus Malzahn tree as both a player and a coach. Third and short, Levine picks up the first down. Before we left the field tonight, brought altitude playing with this up-tempo offense. We're going to find out where their conditioning sits early. Reverse flea flicker, and they check down to Levine, who got the first touch on it. And he gets submarine after a pickup. And you add the elevation where the air is thinner, and there's less precipitation, it definitely changes the game. Mordecai wanted to go deep, instead checks down to Moochie Dixon. Pressure caused some disruption in this drive. Incomplete, trying to sneak one past him. The line didn't even move. Walk me through that play. 15 of 19 on the season for Rodgers. Got the distance, and it's good. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch him in his first career start. Christopher Brooks is the running back, and he'll ride him in... Kept by the freshman, and Peters takes it for a first down. So Jim Iava Peters with a 15-yard run. The question is always, how do you get a rookie quarterback comfortable on the first snap? For over 100 yards, had a tremendous effort the final regular season of the game at Stanford. Chase Roberts takes it for a first down. That quarterback, long history of great Hawaiian-born quarterbacks. And you go know, double pass here, looking to go back to him, and it's blown up. Roberts pulled the ball back, and before he could make a play, we also may see Kate Finnegan off the bench. She's more of a drop-back passer, but can also run a little bit. And the deep ball comes up short, try to find a comeback route, but a flag on the play. Pass interference, defense, number five. Anytime you grab a hold of the receiver like that and don't allow him to come back to the football, it's going to be an easy call for the official. Second and two, and Christopher Brooks bounces to the outside and picks up the first down. I should have asked you this. Oh, you're going to have to score points to beat SMU. Definitely go for this one. Rapati is a running back. They brought in an extra fullback, and he keeps it and takes it in. Soljay Mayava Peters caps his first drive in college with a go-ahead touchdown run. Kid eats weights for breakfast. He loves the game. He works extremely hard and, and very physical. Two, Mordecai is going to scramble for it, and he slides forward for a first down on a gain of 11. Try to confuse quarterbacks and bring the hits. They brought three that time, but from a different direction, and the third and 10 is completed on the edge to Jordan Curley. They stick with the tempo. Here's Levine. Huge hole for Tyler Levine, and he takes it to the 25. A first down for the Mustangs. With the pistol, Wheaton's an Alabama transfer. They'll counter look, and he's got it through another huge hole, and he takes it inside the 15. We're starting to see. Goes back next to Mordecai to throw, right to Daniels. Nice move, and he's in. Touchdown, SMU. Nine-yard touchdown from Mordecai to Daniels. Mechanism that he used to reach them was... College football. Mordecai pressured and a huge sack gets taken down. They haven't had a whole lot of pressure, uh, uh, success with pressure, but that time John Nelson throws down Mordecai for a loss of 12. And it flew back yesterday afternoon with so many of his family members in town. I have a Peters on the rod and he finds his tight end. It's Isaac Rex who rumbles to near midfield to pick up of 27. Oh, very cool. BYU hasn't converted a third down tonight. I have a Peters pressured by Paul and chases him and lost chase on him. Picked up the first down. Surprised to see a run. One for four on third downs tonight. They'll run it off tackle and that'll give him a first down. A lot of protection responsibilities, but so there's some plays I can't help him on. There's a little option pitch and not much done. We're talking with Connor yesterday. Just <laughs> as enjoyable a meeting you'll have. But if Connor Pace sees that throughout the night. Don't be surprised to see him make a check. They'll play action. Bible Peters scrambles, makes a man miss, and bounces to the outside. An electric run for the freshman, picking up 12. Now they've converted thir three of them on this possession alone. Bible Peters fires in zone. And just short, trying to find Roberts. The game winner against Arizona State in 2016, and Kalani Sataki's first game as BYU's head coach.
And through the air for 47 yards to this point. Pressure from the edge again. He's got time. They pick everybody up, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Shannon Reed. Reed's second pick of the season. The first mistake by Soljay Mayava Peters. Got his quarterback on a little half roll where he's comfortable. Soljay had the freshman, Kingston Parker, the speedster, with world-class track speed. Wheaton was part of that talent. He was a five-star recruit and the number two running back in the state of Texas. And how about this? Coming the other way is BYU, taken away by Bywater, and he will take it to the house. Give it a football and 75 yards and the return for Bywater. One of those quick little smoke throws out to the side and called a quick bubble screen. Reads it perfectly, jumps it, and takes it for six the other way. And he runs with some serious power and strength. Had a loaded running back room. They've been through hosts of guys. And here's a big burst by Brooks again and another BYU first down. This BYU offense came in 52nd in the country in the run game. They'll keep it with Hinkley Rapati. And he burst free. And a little hurdle at the end to pick up another BYU first down on a 19-yard run. Connor was the best. So direct, very entertaining, great information. On third and three, they turn to Christopher Brooks, and he picks up the first down. He's under center now. And they will run it. And pick up the first down and more. Touchdown, BYU. Christopher Brooks from 22 yards. On second and three. Tyler Levine picks up the first down. Coverage will certainly work for the Cougars tonight. They drop eight here. Mordecai going deep down the sideline. It is incomplete. Mochi Dixon. No, it is caught. Dixon's got it at the 25, and an SMU first down and a pickup of 35. Mordecai has put it in the air twice in this drive, both for first downs. And that's what we're used to seeing that they like. It's where they're comfortable. Levine straight ahead. And that's going to lead. Oh, I did get the first down. On third down, Levine again. Stutter stepped and then pushed his way through the hole for the first down. Levine again. He's in. And Tyler Levine plunges in from three yards out. His 10th rushing touchdown of the season. I'd say run the football and get yourself in third and manageable. You have a different back on the field. And they'll do that. And do it with Roderick Daniels out of the backfield. And he's able to pick up the first down. Third and five. Five-man rush. They go across the middle. And that's good for a first down. 8-15 and rolling. Seven-point deficit. Levine again. That Kenny played of Hawaii. Tenth play of the drive. And they'll run it with Daniels and pick up another first down. Pressure coming. Mordecai backpedaling. Take it down and he slings it. And they'll roll him down in a sack by Aiden Tofa. On third and eight. Little option look. Maiva Peters gets upended. And SMU's defense comes up with another stop. It's Ahmad Moses who's had a nose for the ball on third down. Out of the eye. And they go with the jet sweep. They need a yard. And he just got it by a foot. Hybrid tight end. Three-man rush. BYU drops eight. Mordecai near side. Caught by Daniels. Tanner Mordecai looking at a drop eight again. And he's able to sling it into RJ Maryland. Third and six. Mordecai pressured. Trying to fit it over the zone. Instead, he goes to his nearest receiver. That's Upshaw. Pick up a 14. Mordecai over the, uh, down the sideline. That's caught by Daniels. And another SMU first down. A pickup of 22. Mordecai fires in zone. Caught! Curly! Touchdown, SMU! Oh. 
Same design as last time. Mordecai on the draw. He stops. SMU stops him. Or probably BYU does. It's Jacob Robinson with the play of the game for the Cougars. Eight seconds. Colin Rogers will put it in play for SMU. Ball's in the air and out of bounds, and BYU's going to have the ball. He's a leader tonight. He played tough, didn't slide one single time, lowered his shoulder, and really led this football team. Ben Bywater finished with 11 tackles for BYU and a 76-yard pick six that swung the momentum to the Cougars' side. Tanner Mordecai will see his career as a Mustang come to an end tonight after being stopped on the two-point conversion.